Dankeschön. Hello, my name is Kelsey Hubble and welcome to today's episode of The Zip. So, if you're curious to ride one of those scooters downtown, beware. I've flown a bird or two in my day and while they do make you feel like a kid again, I don't quite bounce back like a kid these days after a spill. And there's a good reason to think twice. The DMC tells us that so far there haven't been a lot of scooter accidents, but there have been a few. Fewer than six are reported, however, a couple have been pretty bad, including a broken limb. Is that worth the risk? You be the judge. If you're headed to the movies this weekend, you have two choices with Michigan ties. White Boy Rick and Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 11.9. Early reviews are pretty brutal for that last one. One critic called it a mess, which, come to think of it, sums up a lot about the last two years with our Commander-in-Chief. Turning to Michigan politics, today it sucks to be Bill Schuette. The Republican is trailing in the polls against Gretchen Whitmer, and now this, a group of former Republican lawmakers, administration officials, and business leaders say that they are working to elect Whitmer, the Democrat. Ouch. And finally, workers at the Weston Book Cadillac voted overwhelmingly to authorize a strike over wages. The local union president said that they want enough money that they can support themselves with one job. She said these workers are the ones bringing downtown back and it's time for the company to show its appreciation. No workers have walked off yet, but stay tuned. And tonight at Comerica Park, the Tigers host the Royals. First pitch at 710, assuming no rain delay. And that's all for today, folks. Remember, DeadlineDetroit.com is updated throughout the day with the best local news. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next Tuesday.